afternoon folks, it's cracking the flags here in Snowdonia. It's uh, late afternoon and we're in spring, but it's 25 degrees. So it's like a summer's day, absolutely perfect. So hopefully I'm gonna have a camp somewhere up there on the Gladeri, um, all being well. climb from the start of the climb up to the come. It's gonna be quite hard work so I'll come back to you in a bit. I'm in the comb now. It was hard work that with the hub, with the uh, with the big bag on, and being it's such a hot day, probably not quite halfway up yet. We're aiming for over there, top of uh, Gladivach and the Gribbin on the right, and Castle of the Gwynt on the left. Castle of the Wind. Mountain Rescue doing a practice run. I've just seen him drop somebody off on the ridge and uh, they'll probably go and winch him up in a minute. I can just see a guy dressed in red walking along the gribbing just to get picked up again probably. Folks, that's the gribbin, and I'm going to go up it now.
and off they go. We well, don't see that happening every day. Nearly at the top now. Right, we're now on the bulk between Glodervaar and Glodervaar and you can just see over there Snowden and Llywedd and it's so quiet up here there isn't a breath of wind at all That's Castell Gwent over there and we're heading over there now There's the peak of Snowden Creekboch and Llywedd That's looking down to Cum Bochluid and Llyn Bochluid, the lake that we passed on the way up. Absolutely no wind whatsoever. Incredible. Right, slight change of plan. I was going to camp up by um, Castle to go in there and there was a lovely little pitch but there's no water nearby and I did bring enough water with me. Uh, I bought about two and a half litres of water because, because it's been so hot. I've uh, gone through quite a lot of it. So I'm going to make a slight detour to uh, a lake just over there on the ridge and I'm going to camp by the ridge so I've got an, an open source of water. As I'm walking near to this lake, I can see that there's about five other tents there, so I won't be camping too near the lake. So uh, I'd like to get me own little space. Finally found a bit of a path. Most of the uh, terrain on there is all boulders, so you have to sort of hop over boulders and stuff. But um, this lake seems like it's getting further and further away every time I look at it. <laughs> There was no chance I was going to be able to go and get the water and then go back up to where I was initially going to uh, camp. So uh, I shall stay down here. Well you can't beat that for a view can you? So I can't really complain about a lack of a view even though it wasn't the one I planned. And uh, as you may know from my other videos I've wanted to camp at this lake for a while. But uh, every time I've planned to do it uh, the weather hasn't been too good. It's just been so strong, the wind has been so strong up here, but uh, today is actually the ideal time to do it because it's just not windy at all.
that's my evening view. I'm just settling down now to uh, a cup of tea and I'm going to get some food on the go. It's uh, about half past eight, so I didn't get here till quite late, so uh, quite late in setting up. But uh, all settled in now, cracking views. That's my evening meal for tonight. Beef bourguignon and rice with vegetables. I'm just firing up the kettle one more time. We're gonna hot toddy this time. We're all settled in, I've had something to eat. I've been messing about with the camera, taking a few photographs. And I'm gonna get into my uh, into my sleeping bag shortly. With a nice little nightcap. Okay, lost our folks.